Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Kelly and this is a channel about puzzles. Today I have a puzzle haul for you. It's been a few months since I've done one, so I have quite a few new puzzles to show you. Before we get to the puzzle haul, I just wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers. I have over 400 subscribers, which is so much more than I ever expected to get. However, over 70% of you aren't subscribed. So if you like what you're watching, if you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button down below so you get notified whenever I have new videos. Now let's jump right into the puzzles. The first puzzle is from Cobble Hill. It's the blue puzzle, as you can see here. This is part of their rainbow collection by the artist Shelley Davies. She's done quite a few puzzles for them, including this seven puzzle rainbow collection. It's actually seven different colors. The neat thing about this set of puzzles is they actually form one continuous image that spans over 15 and a half feet long. I'm not sure I have enough floor space to do it, but maybe I do. So let me know if you want a video of me doing all seven puzzles. I think it'll be really cool. This puzzle actually completes my collection of the seven puzzles. So they're sitting on a shelf right now, but I hope to do them one day. So the next puzzle is from Four Point Puzzles. It's a Canadian brand, and this is a 2000 piece puzzle from them. It's called The Planets, and obviously it is the eight planets. What's unique about this puzzle is rather than being one rectangle image of planets, it's actually eight smaller puzzles of each planet. So they're circular um, for Saturn, it has the rings, so it's quite wide. It's actually 19 inches wide. The smallest puzzle is seven inches. Hi, editing Kelly here. So I was doing some research on the planets puzzle and I realized that the measurements on the side, 19 diameter, is actually just the diameter. So I looked it up and the Saturn puzzle, the rings are actually 39 inches across which is like twice the length of a normal rectangle puzzle. So that's pretty cool. So each one is slightly different. All the pieces are actually mixed together in one bag, which is really quite a challenge because you do have to separate out all the pieces first. Um, this is another one I'm looking forward to doing, hopefully soon. Let me know if you'd like me to do a video on this puzzle. This puzzle was $60 US, um, which is a bit pricey, but I think their puzzles are really good quality and it's definitely worth the price. They are a Canadian company, so I always like to support Canadian companies. So next up, I have two small puzzles, which are these two Andy Warhol puzzles. You can see here. These are from Gallison. Um, they're just mini puzzles. They're quite small. This one is about five by eight inches, and this one's about eight by 10 inches. So yeah, quite small, 75 pieces, 100 pieces. They were just cute, and you know what? I just needed to add something to my cart to get it over a certain amount of money, and these these look cute, and I thought, why not? Let's just throw them in there. I think they were $10 each, about that. So still like quite a lot for a puzzle of that size, but they're cute. Because they're Gallison, they should be good quality. My next puzzles are some crystal puzzles from Be Puzzled. The first one I picked up was this owl puzzle. As you can see, it's a crystal 3D puzzle made out of clear pieces. I actually did this one already. As you can see, the pieces are completely transparent. I found that to be the most difficult part of the puzzle. It was just kind of hard to see where, what the pieces really looked like. Um, I think if I was doing it against a black background, it would be a little bit easier. Um, in all, it took me about half an hour to do this puzzle. I'm not really sure how that fits in with the recommended time for the, their puzzles. The owl is a level one, so I assume it's only going to get more difficult. I also picked up the Mickey puzzle, which is also a level one, and the Ariel puzzle, which is a level two. Now, these are a bit different than what I would normally feature on my channel, but please let me know if you'd like me to do a time-lapse video or something like that on these puzzles. I could also even do a tutorial on these puzzles. I know those are quite popular with these crystal puzzles. Uh, let me know up down below. The next puzzle is from a company called Lawrence King. I believe they are a UK brand. However, of course, their puzzles are available in North America. Uh, this one is a Wizard of Oz puzzle, as you can see. The Wizard of Oz was one of my favorite stories growing up, so I'd seen this puzzle around and eventually came across it in a store recently, and I picked it up for $30. So this is a 1,000 piece puzzle. It's 
19 by 27 inches, so kind of the standard puzzle, the standard 1,000 piece puzzle shape. Um, there's lots of really interesting details in this puzzle. It kind of includes any reference to Wizard of Oz in any sort of thing. So there's stuff from The Wiz, there's stuff from Pink Floyd, there's stuff from Freddy Krueger, there's stuff that I don't even know what it's referencing, but there's lots of weird and different things. Um, let me know down below if you see anything obscure in this picture and I'd love to know the references because I don't know all of them and I don't think it tells you what all the references are so it's kind of a surprise. Yeah, lots of weird things on this puzzle. Is that Woody from Toy Story? That looks like Woody from Toy Story. But it's a very bright and colorful puzzle. I think it'll be really fun to do. And of course, so many references that will take forever to figure them all out. So next up, I have a bunch of Gallison puzzles. The first one is this one called Blooming Books. It's one of their shaped puzzle series. It's a 750 piece puzzle of books and then a big bouquet on the top of, I believe they're paper flowers. Um, I always find Gallison pieces are wonderful quality. They fit together really well. They stay together really well, which is always nice. This puzzle comes out to 28 by 21, which is basically the size of a 1000 piece rectangular puzzle. So it's very big but I think it'll be cool to do. It's a very nice image. It might even be something that you'd want to frame on the wall. I don't really like doing that with puzzles, so I don't think I will, but that's definitely something that you could. And on the front here, you can actually see the cut of the pieces. Um, so it's not your standard puzzle shape. There's lots of unusual puzzle piece shapes, but I think it'll be not too difficult to do. Um, so this is artwork by Ben Giles and this puzzle was $25. I will put a link down below to everything that I have in the video if it's available online, most of them are. So next up are two circular Gallison puzzles. The first one is this one called Cir Circle of Avian Friends. Uh, it's a 1000 piece puzzle about 25 inches across. It's a beautiful image of birds of course and some butterflies and flowers. Lots of bright colors. I love puzzles with lots of varied bright colors. I also picked up this one called Luna de Fleur. Uh, this is from an artist by Mina Hamada. This one I actually already did. It was wonderful to do. The pieces are mostly standard puzzle shape. There's a little bit of odd shaped ones because it is a circular puzzle, but it, overall it is just the standard puzzle shape. Uh, nothing unusual. It's got really beautiful colors, gallows and quality, so they held together really well. I was able to pick this one up actually without issue once it was finished. I don't know if Gallison has done circular puzzles before. Let me know if you've seen them before. I think these ones, these ones are definitely recent releases. I picked them up a few months ago and they were both $28 again on Amazon. I'm sure they are available in lots of places though. And then finally I have three 500 piece puzzles from Gallison. The first one is 12 days of Christmas. Obviously it's a Christmas puzzle. 
with 12 different sections from the 12 Days of Christmas, of course. Uh, their 500 piece puzzles are 20 by 20. I do have a lot of Gallison puzzles and I'm not the biggest fan of their 500 piece puzzles. I find that their 500 piece puzzles, the shapes are really long and I don't know why, but I just don't really like that style of puzzle. Um, I can't really explain why, I just don't. <laughs> However, I still have lots of them and the 500 piece puzzles are really good for giving away as gifts or even if you just don't want something too complicated to do. Or if someone is not used to doing puzzles, it might be the perfect thing for them. The next one is called Cat Cafe, which is a really cute one. This one is actually Gallus and Ed Mud Puppy, which is, I think, a kid's brand. Um, as you can see, it's cat ice cream, basically. Uh, really super cute, gonna be lots of fun to do. And then the last one is this marbles. It's a rainbow gradient of mar marbles. Um, as you can see, again, a really cool image, not too difficult, very easy to sort, not too difficult to put together. I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't think I'll keep this one. Like I said, the 500 piece gallus and puzzles are a bit too easy for me usually. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the piece shape but of course I keep buying them anyway. So I will keep doing them and then gifting them. Next up is another rainbow kind of puzzle. This one is from a company called Minty Fizz Puzzles. Um, it's a women owned, I think she owns it completely by herself. She designs all the puzzles herself. She paints them all. As you can see, it's actually a painted image. It does kind of look like scales or something for the back. That's actually what it's called. It's called prismatic scales. Uh, this is a 1000 piece puzzle. It is the standard 1000 piece rectangle size of 20 by 27 and a half inches. Uh, I've seen her puzzles done quite a few times online and they always look really beautiful, really wonderful to do. Um, and I was finally able to get one at a good price. A lot of the small, smaller American brands are quite difficult to get in Canada just because the shipping is quite expensive, quite often the shipping is actually almost as much as the puzzle itself, which is a bit too much to spend in my opinion, but of course I understand why it is like that. Um, so luckily she has her puzzle on Amazon, so I was able to get pick it up there. And this was, I don't know how much it was. I think it was $35. Yes, this was $35 Canadian, always looking to support more small businesses wherever I can. Um, there's a lot of them in the puzzle community. Yeah, so whenever I can, it's a bit hard in Canada, like I said, but I try to do it whenever I can. Before I get to the rest of the haul, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button down below so YouTube knows to show this video to more people. And if you really like this video, and you'd like to see more videos like this and other puzzles, you can hit the subscribe button down below and YouTube will always let you know when I post new videos. I post videos about twice a month these days, but sometimes a bit more. So the next puzzle is a Mickey Mouse puzzle from the brand called Seiko. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's a 1500 piece puzzle of vintage Mickey as well as lots of different images from the movies all in this movie reel design. Um, I just really liked the design of the, the puzzle. It doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult. I might be wrong though. Um, this puzzle is 31 by 24, so quite big, which is normal for a larger piece count. Um, I don't know if I've done any puzzles by this brand before. I've definitely seen them a lot, but I've never picked one up. They're not usually the style I like, but this one looked really cute, so I picked it up. I think this one was $25 from Amazon. Um, be lots of fun. Let me know if you'd like me to do a video on this one. Um, so next I have two puzzles from Clementoni, which is a European brand. Of course, they are available in 
North America as well. However, I've never actually seen these two in North American stores. So they're both story map puzzles from Disney. So I've got 1001 Dalmatians and then the Frozen puzzle. As you can see, it's a map design and then it's got lots of different images from the 101 Dalmatians movie. I just really like the stylized quality of the, of the picture. I thought that was really cool. I've been kind of keeping an eye on it and it eventually went on sale for $25 US each. And I was able to pick it up and it came from a, I think it came from a store in the UK actually. It does say they're made in Italy. So I'm not sure if these are available in North America, um, but please let me know if you've seen them in North America because I'm sure there are more in this puzzle series. Um, I definitely like to pick up some more. And here is the frozen one. As you can see, again, it's quite a stylized image. Um, I really like that style. Yeah, it looks like it'll be lots of fun. This one was also $25. Uh, again, this one was made in Italy. Yeah, I'm not sure I've done a Clementoni puzzle before. I don't think so. It's hard to say, I have so many puzzles. <laughs> so next up are some Ravensburger puzzles. The first one is from the Villainous series. So this is the Gaston puzzle. Um, this is one of the newer ones released this year, I believe. It does seem like they've kind of changed the design they're going for with these puzzles. Before it was just a gallery wall of, of pictures. However, now they've kind of incorporated the character into it and he's kind of enjoying himself on the mantle and then lots of images around it like in the previous ones. I do quite like these ones better, actually. I did do a couple of the previous style um, and I found them quite difficult, especially the frames were quite difficult to do. So this one I think will be a bit easier with lots more things to focus on. Also, I think the image is just really cool. And again, this is a thousand piece puzzle. Um, it was $28. Um, I also picked up the Cruella de Vil one. However, I didn't make it in time for me to shoot this video. Um, I really like this one as well. It looks like she's trying to map out a conspiracy like that meme, which is funny. And next, some more of the Ravensburger Treasures from the Vault series. I really like this puzzle series. Um, it's all vintage Disney images. Um, I think they're all like pre-80s or pre-70s, so they're older. So the first one is the Jungle Book Baloo one. As you can see here is Baloo hanging out in the jungle. Really cute. The next one is this Robin Hood one, as you can see here. And then the December one was Mickey and it's called Mickey Mouse Review. I think this is actually a poster from 1971. So again, they all kind of fall into the same family of vintage Disney pictures. Um, I think I have most of this series now. I'm still missing one or two, but I think I have them ordered. I'm not sure. Too many puzzles. Um, yeah, I really like this series. They are quite difficult. As you can see, the there's a lot of blank space in these puzzles. I think the Robin Hood one in particular is going to be quite difficult since all the figurines are exactly the same color um, and they're against a white background. It's going to be quite challenging. 
um, even the blue one is pretty much all green and a lot of just light green, so that'll be quite difficult. The Mickey one, I'm not sure if it's gonna be difficult or not. Um, I'm sure it will be. Yeah, especially because the background is only two colors, I think it's gonna be quite difficult and the pieces are gonna be quite hard to figure out what goes where because they're quite small compared to the image. But I still really enjoy it. I really like this series out of everything Ravensburger has ever done. Um, let me know if you've done any from these series. If you hate them, if you love them. And of course they are all 1000 pieces and they are 27 by 20 inches, which is the standard Ravensburger 1000 piece puzzle size. Um, yeah, they will be the beautiful Ravensburger quality. I did the Pinocchio one earlier this year in a video, which I can link above for you. That one was very, that Pinocchio one was very difficult. I think I underestimated how difficult it was going to be. So I think going forward, I know that these ones are going to be quite a challenge. And, and then finally, the last puzzle I have for today is a 6,000 piece puzzle. This one's quite heavy. So this is a Clementoni 6,000 piece puzzle. It's called Disney Gala. As you can see, it's all the Disney characters at a party and chaos is ensuing as it would. It's 6,000 pieces. It comes out to about 66 by 46 inches, which is quite big, just definitely bigger than the table I usually do puzzles on. Um, I'm working on the 9,000 piece puzzle right now, so I will probably have to do a similar format for this puzzle. I don't actually know if this puzzle comes in one bag or two, probably two. Uh, there's lots of different variety of things happening in the puzzle, so I don't think it's going to be too difficult from an image perspective. However, of course, the size is going to affect how easy it is to do the puzzle. But like everything, I'm looking forward to doing this one. I hope to do it later this year. And let me know if you've done this one before. I'd love to see how you worked on it or if you've done other similar puzzles of this size. I know the 9,000 piece puzzle is currently taking up my entire living room, which is a bit of a bother, but it's the only way to do the puzzle. So this will be the same, so I won't do this until the fall probably. But yeah, this is the last puzzle in my haul today. If you like this video, you can hit the like button down below to let YouTube know that other people should watch this video too. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can hit the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I have new videos available. I post twice a month and sometimes a bit more in between. And if you haven't seen my last puzzle video, you can check it out here. And if you haven't seen my last puzzle haul, you can check it out here. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.